Hello dear students welcome to the lecture series on the subject botany today our topic is taxonomy and diversity of malvaceae dear students we all know about the lady's finger that we eat as a vegetable our children they are fond of chocolates we plant the ornamentals like hollyhock china rose in our gardens and lastly we wear the cotton fabrics during the summer season do you know all these plants whether lady's finger china rose chocolate or the cotton they all belong to a single botanical family called as malvaceae so let us today discuss this family malvaceae in this lecture these aspects of the family malvaceae will be discussed number 1 taxonomy number second systematic position number third phylogeny fourth diversity and fifth and the last economic importance so starting with taxonomy the malvaceae is commonly known as mallow family the family name malvaceae is based on the scientific name of the type genus malva malvaceae as a family as a formal taxonomic category was established first of all by a french botanist de gisu the common name that is the mallow family is basically derived from a term mallow which was first given by pelini and it means soft the family members they are unique in having herbaceous or shrubby or tree habit they are often with satellite trichomes they are typically having an epic calyx the calyx is present and is characteristically valvate the corolla is often convolute the stamens or conate as a tube this tube may form five or many bundles with monothecal or dithecal anthers the gynoecium is here syncorpus and the ovary is superior placentation is commonly axial or rarely it can be marginal and lastly the fruit is here a capsule after discussing these unique features of malvaceae now let us discuss the taxonomy in detail starting from its habit the members of the family malvaceae they can be either annual or perennial herbs the examples are abutilon elsia and other types of herbaceous species they can be also even shrubs the common example is hibiscus or they can be even trees the example here is tilia now the root as malvaceae belongs to dicots that's why here we have a typically tap root system the system in the case of malvaceae is often associated with mucilage canals also the system has either satellite trichomes satellite means the star shaped hairs or palmate stems leaves the leaves are usually alternately arranged they can form a spiral or commonly what we call as two ranked the leaves are stipulate and the stipules are often cordicus the leaf blade here is simple but sometimes this leaf blade can be palmately lobed to divide we see this leaf blade as divided in the case of gossypium or very rarely the leaf can be palmately compound the leaf margins in the case of malvaceae leaf they are 
either entire or they can be serrate. The teeth here they are of a characteristic type called as malvoid. What is this malvoid type? It is the major veins are unexpanded and they end at the tooth apex. The venation in the leaves in case of Malvaceae is palmate. Now the floral morphology of the plant starting with inflorescence. The inflorescence is here a racine or rarely we see also cymos. The example is pavonia. Sometimes this inflorescence is characteristically reduced into a solitary flower that is axillary with a determinate basic repeating unit which bears three brackets. Out of these three brackets, one is always sterile while the other two, they are subtended by lateral cymes. Or sometimes we also see the inflorescence is represented by a single solitary flower. Now the flower, the flower is bracteate, most often bracteate. The common example is a butylon or sometimes it can be a bracteate. The example is hibiscus. The flowers are bisexual but rarely there are occurrences of unisexual flowers also in Malvasi. The flowers are also actinomorphic. They are hypogynous and very rarely there are some taxa where the flowers are perigynous. The flowers are often associated, a characteristic feature in the case of Malvasi is the flowers are associated with a conspicuous bracket that forms an epicalyx. The number of these brackets which form the epicalyx, it varies between different species. For example, in the case of Malva, the number of brackets that form the epicalyx is 3. It can range from 5 to 8 in the case of Althea. Or sometimes even this epicalyx can be absent as we see in the case of Sida. Now the flower, individual parts of the flower starting from calyx. The calyx here comprises of sepals which are usually five in number but rarely they can be three or four also. These sepals they are pre that's why we call it as aposepalus or they can be basally fused what we call as basally synsepalus and their estuation is velvet. The nectaries in the case of Malvasi they are present at calyx. These nectaries consist of densely packed multicellular glandular hairs that are present at the adaxial base of the calyx. Now the second part of the flower that is corolla which is which is always an attractive part of the flower. It comprises of the usual petals which number about five but rarely we see also these petals they comprise of three or four petals only. These petals they are adenate that means they are fused to the base of an androsium tube. They are free that's why we call these Carola as apopetalus. The estuation is imbricate or sometimes convolute or velvet. Male part of the flower that is androsium. The androsium comprises of stamens which are five or they can be of indefinite number. They are epipetalous or sometimes they are born on a short to elongate structure called as androgynophore. The filaments of the stamens they are usually fused together. This fusion can be either as a tube. This tube surrounds the gynosium. This characteristic feature is called as monoadelphus which is unique to the Malvaceae family. 
or these filaments they can form 5 to 15 bundles of stamens and they assume a shape of fascicle or sometimes they can form a tube which in turn bears bundles. The stem nodes are sometimes present in the flower and they are elongate and they alternate with the stamens or groups of stamens. The anther is bilocular or it may appear as unilocular. How it appears as unilocular? Because during the development of the anther there is some modification in this bilocular anther and it appears as half anther. That's why the overall anther appears as unilocular. The anthers they are bisporangiate, they are intros and the dehiscence is either longitudinal or it can be porosidal. The pollen grains are large and they are with spines. That's why we call them as spinulose. These pollen grains are tricolporate, triporate, to sometimes they can be multiporate. Now the female part of the flower that is called as gynosium. The gynosium comprises of carpels. The carpels are two to many in number. They are fused. That's why we call this gynosium as syncarpus. The ovary is superior, multilocular. That means locules are as many as there are the carpels. The ovules are either solitary or they can be numerous in each of these locules. The ovule is anatropous or sometimes it can be campylotropous. It is bitegmic crassinucellate. The placentation is characteristically exile, but sometimes in some plant species of Malvasi we see it as marginal. The style is unilobed, lobed or it can be branched at its apex. The stigma is capitate in shape or sometimes it can be lobed. Now the fruit. Fruit in the case of Malavesi it can be a loculicidal capsule. That's the common type of fruit in Malavesi or it can be a schizocarp of mericarps. The example is Malva or it can be an indehiscent pod what we see in Adansonia or the fruit can be follicle even. The common example is Citerculia or nut what we see in this genus Telia or very rarely the fruit can be a berry. The example is Malva viscous. The seeds within the fruit they are either single or they can be many. Sometimes these seeds are with hairs or they can be arillate. They are occasionally winged and the embryo within the seeds that is characteristically curved. Endosperm is present here but it is formed of either oily or starchy. Now the pollination system in the family Malvaceae. The flowers of Malvaceae they are diverse. That's why they attract bees, wasps, ants, flies, moths, birds and bats. These different organisms they act as pollinators in the case of Malvaceae. Mainly the nectar is the reward for the pollinator. This nectar is usually produced on the inner surface of the fused sepals. Most of the species in the case of Malavesi, they are outcrossing. Now fruit dispersal. The fruit dispersal is extremely varied in Malavesi. The capsular fruited species, they have small seeds. That's why they are either pollinated by wind or by water. These capsular fruit species, they are sometimes they possess specialized dispersal structures such as wings or hairs. Many species in the Malvaceae they are having a follicle fruit. As already mentioned, the common example is Sterculia. In such cases, 
the seeds they contrast in color with the follicle wall. That's why it leads to their dispersal by birds. However, there is a genus by the name of Firminia, where the fruit is follicle, but the follicle opens very early in the development and it forms a dry wing-like structure for wind dispersal. Those species in Malvesi where we have Schizocarp of Mericarpus, they are self-dispersed or they can have adaptation for external dispersal on birds or mammals. The large indehiscent pods, the common example I already mentioned is the Adansonia. These pods, they contain an edible, somewhat sewer and dry and fleshy seeds. That's why they are dispersed by large mammals. The nuts, what we see in Telia, they are born on a sign, a type of inflorescence that is usually fused to a conspicuous wing-like bracket and the entire infractants and the associated brackets they are entirely dispersed by wind. Those fruits which are fleshy or having an aerolate structure, they are usually dispersed by either mammals or birds. Now, talking about the systematic position of Malvesi. Different systematists, they have classified Malvesi under different classification schemes. In this lecture, we will discuss only the prominent classification systems, starting with Bentham and Hooker system of classification. Bentham and Hooker, they classified Malavesi under the class Dicotyledons, subclass Polypetali, series Thalamiflori, and the order Malvales. Later on, an American taxonomist, Cronkist, he classified Malavesi under the division. He called this division as Magnoliophyta and the class Magnoliopsida. Subclass, he recognized a subclass by the name Dillinidae and order again just like Bentham Hooker, Malvales. Takhtajan, the famous Russian taxonomist who based an evolutionary system of classification, he classified Malavesi under the division again just like Cronkist, Magnoliophyta class Magnoliopsida, subclass Tilinidae, but he incorporated one superorder by the name Malvenini. An order again repeating the Malvales. Dahlgren, a famous Danish botanist who gave a system of classification, he classified Malvesi under the class Magnoliopsida, subclass Magnolidae, superorder Malvini and the order Malvales. Robert Thorne, he classified it under the class Angiospermy. That means he didn't recognize it the class Magnoliopsida. He classified it under the class Angiospermy, subclass Rosidae, superorder Malvini and the order Malvales. Angiosperm phylogeny group, a collaborative group of taxonomists who have proposed a rankless system of classification. They recognize basically the monophyletic clades. They have recognized Malavesi under the clade Eudicots and the subclade Eurozide II and order again here the Malvales. Now let us discuss the phylogeny of Malvesi. Previously from very earlier times and still quite common nowadays even, the Malvesi was divided into four families. The four different families were the first of all the Malvesi but in a strict sense what we in taxonomy we call it as senso stricto. Number second family was Bombicaceae commonly known as Bombax family. Third family was Citriculaceae commonly known as chocolate family and the fourth one was Tiliaceae commonly known as Linden families. However very recently both based on morphological and molecular evidences, it has been suggested that these traditional distinctions, as I already mentioned, four different families, that these four different families, their distinction is arbitrary and it is not stable, it is inconsistent. That is why these four families have been put together in a single family, which is a monophyletic family called as Malvesi, 
but not the Malvasi sensolato, but the Malvasi senso stricto in their broader circumscription. The family as a whole, that means the Malvasi sensolato, may be united by these common features called as apomorphies. These common features can be number one, velvet calyx, satellite trichomes, and the nectaries, they are composed of glandular hairs. And also, the veneation is here characteristically palmate. And also, one more character which is an apomorphy within this Malavasi is that the secondary tissue rays they are dilated in shape. The phylogenetic relationships within the family have been investigated by cladistic analysis based on both morphological and DNA based characters. At present, as of now, nine monophyletic subfamilies have been recognized under the family Malavasi. These are Grivoidi, Betinoidi, Helicteroidi, Brown Lowoidi, Stirculoidi, Dombioidi, Tiloidi, Bombicoidi, and last one, Malvoidi. The Grivoidi, which is represented by genera like Grivia, Corchoris, Triumphita, and other relatives. These Grivoidi, they have lost calyx fusion, and the outer stamens, they are sterile here. And the petal epidermis is very distinctive. Number second subfamily is Betinoidi, which is represented by genera like common genera like Theobroma, Betinaria, and their relatives. The Betinoidi they have five elongated staminodes that alter with unusually shaped petals. Often these petals they are clawed and they are basically hooded. The Helicteroidi subfamily as represented by Helicteris, Durio and other relatives. They show a common feature of presence of androgynophore. One more subfamily by the name Brown Loidi it is represented by general like Bria, Brown Lovia and their relatives. The Brown Loidi have their calyx strongly fused and this calyx is bell shaped. Also here the anthers are basally dilated with epically contiguous anther six. One more subfamily, Citerculoidi, which contains common genera Citerculia, Cola, Pyrmania and their relatives. They possess a distinctive unisexual epipetalous flower, which is having an elongate gynophore and the corpus are here separate at maturity and they form a cluster of follicles. The Dombioidi subfamily containing genera like Dombia, Pterospermum and relatives is distinct in having spiny pollens and also they have elongate stem nodes that alternate with petals. The Tiloidi subfamily represented by genera like Telia, Cregia, they are distinct in possessing folded cotyledons. Stem nodes here are opposite to the petals. The remaining two subfamilies, one Bambicoidi and the Mulvoidi. Traditionally, they were recognized under separate families Bambicoeci and Malvaceae, as already mentioned at the start of discussing the phylogeny. They are closely related to each other. Reason being, they have transversely septate bilocular anthers that are strongly conate, and during the course of development, they become modified to appear as unilocular. Starting with the Bombicoidi, which is represented by common genera like Pombax, Adansonia, Seba, etc. They may be monophyletic because of having palmately compound leaves and also having platinate, triangular and non-spiny pollen grains. The monophyly of Malvoidi, the largest of all the subfamilies, this Malvoidi, it is supported by having globose spiny pollen, a staminal tube with five apical teeth and also have a well-developed epicalyx. Also, the chloroplast DNA restriction site data also support its monophyly. Within this Malvoidi, as I mentioned, this is the largest subfamily within the family Malvesi, the genera with loculicidal capsules and numerous seeds, example is hibiscus and the gossypium. They form a basal but paraphyletic complex. Another subclade within this Malvoidi is represented by genera such as Malva, Sida, Ebitulan. They have 
शेजोकॉर्पिक फ्रूट्स एंड दे हैव ओनली वन और टू ओव्यूल्स पर कॉर्प एंड ऑल्सो दे हैव लॉस्ट द एपिकल टीथ ऑन द स्टेमिनल ट्यू नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस द डायवर्सिटी इन द फैमिली मालवेसी एट प्रेजेंट द फैमिली इज रिप्रेजेंटेड वर्ल्ड ओवर बाई अबाउट टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी जनरा विथ हैविंग मोर देन फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड स्पीशीज सम ऑफ द स्पीशीज रिच जनरा इन दिस फैमिली और हेबिस्कस हैविंग थ्री हंड्रेड स्पीशीज देन सिटरक्यूलिया एंड डूम्बिया ईच हैविंग टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी स्पीशीज सीडा एंड पेवोनिया हैविंग टू हंड्रेड स्पीशीज ईच ग्रीविया विथ वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी स्पीशीज फॉलोड बाय कोला हैविंग वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव स्पीशीज देन एब्यूटलॉन एंड ट्राइम फेटा ईच हैविंग हंड्रेड स्पीशीज देन बॉम्बैक्स कॉमन बॉम्बैक्स हैविंग सिक्सटी स्पीशीज एंड लास्टली द टीलिया हैविंग फोर्टी फाइव स्पीशीज मेम्बर्स ऑफ दिस फैमिली मॉलवेसी दे आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड mostly in tropical and temperate climates but mainly they are concentrated their concentration is more in terms of their distribution in the south american tropics now let us discuss the economic importance of malvesi the members of malvesi family they are of immense economic importance some of the uses that malvesi species are put to can be summarized as under the family contains many species that are grown as ornamentals namely china rose its scientific name is hibiscus rosa sinensis or the rose of sharon its scientific name is hibiscus syracus or the common hollyhock scientific name althea rosea or a tree that we cultivate in our parks by the name of linden tree its scientific name is tilia or we have trees like Chinese parasol tree scientific name is firmenia or one more uh, species of malvesi which is used as ornamental is turk's cap scientific name malvesisus or lastly the porcia tree scientific name thespicia in addition to their ornamental use the malvesi species they are used for other or economic purposes for instance the young fruits of okra scientific name hibiscus esculentus and durian the scientific name durio zebethens they are used as vegetables or the industrial importance of the family malvesi is the product coca the source of chocolate it is obtained from the seeds of a species by the name of theobroma cacao the seeds of one more species cola nitida they yield an important commercial product called cola or the fiber plants the for example the best fiber is obtained from the species of corchoris the common jute or we have the hairs that are associated with the seeds they are used as stuffing material such as capo from the species of seba and bombax or the most common and highly important cotton that is used in the fabric industry is obtained from the different species of gossypium The gossypium is a common genera in the family Malvaceae. The gossypium is in fact the world's most important fiber plant. Some species of Malvaceae they yield valuable timber. The common example are balsa wood, scientific name Ochroma paradimale. The basswood, scientific name Tilia cordata. The timber is used in making furniture and also in making musical instruments. Dear students with this we come to the end of today's lecture hope you have enjoyed the lecture on the topic taxonomy and diversity of malvesi see you again with some another topic till then bye bye